something that I've been thrilled to just cook. And that is first time ever for TNT pork belly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. So pork belly. So uh, this is a 5.6 pound pork belly, okay? And I'm going to trim it up a little bit. I'm going to bring you in. Since I don't have a, you know, um, I checked out my boy over in uh, Smoking Joe Pits. My boy Joe. I uh, checked out his video this morning and got some good hints from him. Checked out a couple other YouTubers that did pork belly. Got some hints for them and got, also got what not to do because, you know, when they had, they're like, you know, I wish I would have did this a little longer. But the key things I got, this thing has to render. I talked to my boy Rick over at Meat Stall. Hey, I'm going to put Rick, Rick's YouTube channel right down the i card above. I want you to go over, sub to Rick over at the Meat Stall channel. And also, uh, he has a barbecue sauce called Meat Frosting. Man, I am going to leave that video review last video because I'm telling you, it's off the chain. So, I know you're here. We're going to zoom in. I'm going to show me trimming this uh, pork belly. And we just going to go from there, okay? So, uh, I'm looking forward to this cook. And guess what, guys? I'm cooking this on a Weber kettle grill. Yes, all my other grills are just snowed in. I'm talking like when I say snowed in, I can't even get to my backyard because it's like uh, probably about two foot of snow in my backyard just drift. It's drift shut. So, I can't get back there if I can, if I wanted to. You know, and the snow is hard as a rock. It's about... Four degrees a day, and it says it's gonna dip below freezing, gets down to negative 25 degrees windshield factor. So it's gonna be cold today. But uh, we gonna get this done. TNT barbecue, gonna get this done. All right, so let's bring us in for this, okay? So I got the pork belly, and uh, I'm gonna try to get some of this stuff out. This is what I'll be using, guys. Check that out, baby. Yeah, that's a knife. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, and you said why I'm using such a big knife? Well, it's the sharpest knife I got, so that's what I'm using. I'm just gonna take some of this um, stuff off that gonna burn. And what I like doing is uh, just pinching. And then let the knife does the work. Let the knife do the work. So, and, and you see how a sharp knife working with uh, just taking this, uh, taking that off. I'm not taking off like uh, a lot of the meat. I'm just taking off this this membrane. Look at that. That's not gonna be good. So, I'm gonna trim all that off. Cause, cause that, like I say. I don't want to eat that, and nobody want to eat that. So I'm just gonna take that off, and I'm just going up. My knife's playing it up like that, and I'm just taking that off. And I think that's gonna be. Um, So YouTube, I'm using three different rubs on this um, pork um, pork belly. So the first rub I'm using is this uh, Texas style smoked pork, low and slow rub. So uh, yeah, that low and slow rub, okay? The second one I'm using is tailgate rubs. Uh, I got that from Aldi's, tailgate rub, yep. Then the rub, I'm using this Tennessee apple butter um, yeah, Tennessee apple butter for my boy, for my from people over there in Pit Boss, Pit Boss Nation, hashtag Pit Boss Nation, hashtag Pit Boss Barbecue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These guys are incredible. So that's what I'm, I'm looking for right there. So I'm going to go on first, I think, with this uh, Texas stuff. 
Uh, one time for my boy Joe. Got to do that for my boy. So, uh, I'm going to go over. And this one is not too sweet. This one is more uh, savory than anything. So, I'm just going to go. And they got, some, they got a lot of black pepper in there. You can see that black pepper in it. And it, it, it it's it's uh not a lot of salt, but it, it's it's a nice looking rub. And I'm gonna hit it with this uh this apple butter right here for the sweet. Okay. And I tell you, I was cooking this on my um Weber kettle grill, yes. And I got a new one. Actually, I had it for a long time. I had it for like about four months. More more like six months. And I just haven't been really getting out using it because um, I've been busy. And when I wasn't busy, I was, um, it was cold. So, uh, yeah. And then I'm going to use the tailgater rub right here just to uh, go for a little bit more color, okay? Now this tailgate rub, this is a hidden jewel right here because this rub is only $3. And man, the color just amazes me. And as y'all can see, I'm patting in. I don't want to rub my rub in. I'm just patting it in because it's going to take this rub. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to just make sure that I get this rub. Uh, and on this side right here, I'm just going to follow... The same, so I better uh, take out this glove. Texas style pork, low and slow rub, and then we use this and this Tennessee apple butter. Yep, we use those three rubs to bring. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this uh, pork belly on the Weber. So as you can see, it is sweated through. The rub is looking good, so I'm getting good smoke. I'm gonna let the smoker and the pork belly come up to temperature. So I'm running some um, the wood I'm using today is a cherry and a chocolate mesquite because I like that real heavy smoke. So opposite of hot coal, and let me go and show you my setup. So that's my setup right there. I dug on my, my wood and my charcoal and dug on my um, pork belly. And I, I'm using the Weber trays today. So, yep. So that's what we're doing. And I'm going to put the vent back on the Weber Keller grill. Got the green one. Okay. So, make sure everything is sealed. I got all the vents open, so I'm going to need pretty much all the heat I can get today. We back with just not the finished product, but we're going to cut these up into burnt ends. Yeah, it's pork belly burnt ends. So I just want you to see the bark on this. This looks amazing already. I mean, so, uh, but uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I think I'm going to cut them uh, pretty big. So I'm going to go on with this knife. I'm just going to cut them into slices. Uh, <clears throat> oh my goodness, the smell just coming from this. Um, I'm going to do some pretty big burn ins. Uh, so. Now y'all remember how much I trimmed this back and I just wanna just make sure. Oh, there was some. Still connected, okay. But look at that. Can you see the juiciness in that thing? Look at that smoke ring, oh my goodness. I hope the camera picking up the smoke ring. Wow, so um, yep, <clears throat> so I got them. The juicy, I'm gonna go ahead and just go straight across. Just try to uh, 
pretty much make everything uniform. I just the thing about using this big knife, you can uh you know look at that. Oh my goodness. And the smell. I'm sorry, but mm. Mm. okay. Yeah. Oh, that is outstanding, but we're not done with it yet. So, I'll bring this in to the picture. I want to put this pan, I want to put these um, in the bark. Like I say, it needs a little while longer because. Mm, that's amazing. I need to get that fat rendered. Mm, but, man, that, that is some, that is delicious. Outstanding burnt ends. And I'm gonna make this very happy. So, I'm just going to, like, that's a little too big, so. And if I see them a little too big, I'm going to go ahead and slice them. But smoke ring, oh my goodness. I mean, this is, oh. I mean, but look at that. Look at that. Look at that dripping. In. Oh, them are amazing. Okay, so I got the burnt ends here. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go in with some uh, honey. Okay? Just like you're doing a wrap it up for honey, okay? You want to make sure you get all this honey all over them. Okay, that's honey. All right, my boy, over in meat stall. My boy Rick, meat frosting. And go to this page to get you some of this right here. This stuff is dynamite, bro. You know what? I've been hoarding that. Just for the special cook. Oh boy, over meat stall, the meat frosting, come on. Find some meat and smoke it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, this is, you know, uh, this is awesome. This is my boy meat stall. Check this out. And I shall it's ready, but you know, hey, I'm doing it what I do. And I'm just going to slice up some butter. And just throw in some pads of butter in there, a whole stick of butter. Yep. <clears throat> just place it all over, so... Man, I got some brown sugar. I got some light brown sugar, so. I don't want too sweet, but I want it, I want it sweet enough where
I need a brown sugar all on me. Oh man, yeah. And I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna mix this up, and I'm gonna put it back on the smoker off camera. And that and that Weber smoky mountain is doing wonderful. So I got the brown sugar. I got um the rib tips, I mean not rib tips, excuse me, pork belly cut up, I got the brown sugar, I got the meat frosting, I got the honey, and I got everything mixed together. So I'm gonna toss this, wrap it up in foil, put it back on the smoker, and then I'm gonna bring you in when the finished product, okay? Y'all need to see. Yes, that. sir. So I have the pork belly cut up, put in the pan. And this is just a close shot before they go back on the smoker and the pork belly. And I'm telling you what, I could I could really chump on this right now. So what's up YouTube? The champ is here, baby. The champ is here. Yes, sir, yes, sir. The pork champ is here. The reason why I say that, because this recipe right here, this is what I'll be entering all this year. When I do competition, I'm gonna I'm I'm go to this right here because this is championship burnt in pork. So I got some taste testers. I got my son Thyra. Say, what's up, boy? What's up? Got my son Dallas. What's up, Dallas? What up? My boy just got Honor Choir right here. Dallas Honor Choir. Hey, hey. That's what's up. That's what's up. And this is my baby girl, Gladys. How you doing, baby girl? Good. Okay. So we got uh, burnt ends, pork belly burnt ends, guys. So I want to bring these guys in and let them get a taste test. So. Why don't y'all go ahead and get a taste test, guys. Let's go. Right. I know it's burnt ends, but I thought it was going to be burnt all. So for some reason, I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. Let, me, let me get in right here. Mm. 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 Right. Hey, really good. Mm. These are amazing. What y'all think, Dallas? These are absolutely incredible. It's pretty good, actually. Okay, mm -hmm. talk, Glad. Mm -hmm. no, it's good. But huh? It has to be it's something good. off the biggest piece. I, what, what makes it good, guy? For you get another <laughs> bite? I think it's the barbecue sauce that you put on it. Or the juice type. The juice that's that's what, that's along with it. It gives it like an extra flavor with it. A uh, barbecue sauce, that, that, that's called a meat stall. That's my boy from Cali. What's up, Rick? All right, now, what's up? What do you think, Gladys? Mm, I think I like um, how it's like the like perfect um, ring around it and how it's like... Smoke ring? Yeah, the smoke ring around it is very good. And the sauce is good, obviously. And like what Dallas said, the juices. What you think, T? I think the tenderness is the best part. The tenderness? Hey. Meat marshmallow. Look at that. <laughs> so, this is TNT Barbecue. Come on, let's do it. Now. Let's do it. This is TNT, TNT Barbecue with, with a Southern Exclusive <laughs> Taste. God, God, God bless you and God bless America. We out of here.